It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 20th of January. I'm James Spann. The big January thaw continues today with a very mild afternoon, but later this week, the weather turns colder. We'll have some rain to deal with. Uh, let's go in there and take a look at things. This morning, fairly quiet pattern across the nation. This is the uh, water vapor satellite view. A little uh, wave down in the Gulf producing some wet weather for the Florida Peninsula today. But really, that's about it. Uh, so we're starting off the day with numbers all over the board. This is why this is not a one-number place when it comes to forecasting a low and a clear, calm morning. The, the reason for the variability, the differences in wind and cloud cover. Now, Fort Payne's at 32, but you go over to Huntsville, and they're 13 degrees warmer at 45. Now, Birmingham sitting at 43, but everybody goes back in the 60s today. And around the nation, the cold Arctic air is flushed out for a while. It's very cold in eastern Canada, but uh, uh, most everybody's going to have a very nice day today. On the watch warning map, it remains pretty quiet. We do note winter storm watches for parts of New Mexico and southeast Colorado. And that feature is going to bring us some rain before the week is over. And speaking of rain, this is the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Numbers are coming up as the uh, models uh, are getting a little bit more aggressive with the rain on the northern end of the state. Uh, this is suggesting we might see some amounts approaching one-half inch here with totals closer to one inch for the Gulf Coast. And for the snow fans, this is the chance of accumulating snow between tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. Uh, maybe some snow for parts of the northeast United States and again out there for parts of New Mexico and the Texas Panhandle. Southeast Colorado, that's where those winter storm watches are currently in effect. Uh, let's take a look at the modeling. This is today at noon off the good old GFS. And again, you can see some energy approaching the Florida Peninsula. A couple of uh, waves up north, but uh, really for us, it'll be a quiet day. Uh, partly sunny today, low to mid-60s. We'll figure 62 to 65. Yesterday, Birmingham soared to 68 Wow. But not a record. Record high today is 78 set in 1929. Tomorrow, thickness values down ever so slightly. The high may be closer to, to 60. Still going to feel good. And again, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. It's still very nice weather today and tomorrow. Now, Thursday, you can see uh, really the, the GFS is a bit more aggressive with that storm coming out of the southwest United States. Almost looks like a bowling ball coming out of there. Uh, big rain mass over Texas on Thursday. Uh, we stay dry. Thickness values are down a little bit. Uh, the high will drop back into the uh, 50s. Not as cool as other runs. We'll say mid-50s on Thursday. And uh, this is Friday. I mean, all of a sudden now, the GFS showing rain statewide. It's got a, a surface low south of Mobile Bay. Uh, rain extending up into southern Tennessee. And again, the heavier rains will be over south Alabama, no doubt about that. But that's just a good uh, rain producer for us. Uh, cool, probably stay in the 40s all day with rain. And the idea of any, you know, snowflakes uh, Thursday night just looks so small. There's no need to even mention that. Uh, just a cool, rainy day on Friday. Now, the, the latest guidance kind of suggesting this thing could linger into Friday night, and this is Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. The uh, surface low is near Cape Fear, North Carolina, and uh, we've got this wraparound moisture that keeps us cloudy and drizzly and maybe some light rain into Saturday morning. So uh, we've seen some decent consistency in the last few runs here, and I think we need to go ahead and mention that. So we'll insert the chance of some lingering rain Saturday morning, and then by Saturday evening, it's gone. Not so sure we see sun Saturday. If we do, it's going to be very late in the day. And with the clouds hanging tough, it looks pretty cool. We'll stay in the 40s. So we'll bump the high down into the 40s on Saturday. And then uh, after that, it improves. Now, quickly, we'll look at the NAM. Just a different look at this. Uh, this is Thursday. I'm sorry, Friday morning at 3 a.m. After midnight, Thursday night. Uh, again, a good rain event. In fact, uh, again, the, the surface low is a bit farther north with the NAM. So this is suggesting the rain might even begin Thursday night. And I think we'll need to, to mention that. Often these southern stream systems can come in quicker than models uh, anticipate. So uh, again, just looks like a cool, rainy day Friday. All right, Sunday, this will be our brighter day over the weekend. Uh, the sky should be partly sunny. We reached the lower 50s, kind of a cool day. 
And again, we note that Alberta Clipper that is coming down through uh, Des Moines. This is Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And you can see evidence of maybe a little light rain for the northern part of the state. And then this is Monday evening at 6 o'clock, and we've got some cold air advection going on here. And uh, again, the GFS hinting it may be a snowflake somewhere over you know, the northern quarter of the state, but there's no need to get excited about this. Clippers, as we often mention, don't have a lot of moisture. They typically don't produce a lot of problems here. We will mention a chance of some light rain Monday and probably nothing beyond that. Uh, this is Monday evening at 6 o'clock off the European. Same thing, looks like the chance of a little light rain, but not a big event. And then this is Tuesday, a week from today. That system is on by, and we are cool and dry with seasonal conditions, highs, and the uh, maybe around 50 and lows in the 30s. We'll check the end of the forecast, the 29th of January. That's still not a very cold look. Uh, we've got a, a northwest flow aloft, and that would be cool and dry if this is right. Temperatures coming off the ensembles. No doubt the warmest weather in the next 15 days will be today and tomorrow. Enjoy it. And after that, you can see highs kind of going back in the 40s and low 50s and lows in the upper 20s and low 30s. Arctic Oscillation, coming off the European, kind of spikes negative here in the next day or two, but then it goes positive. Pretty much the same thing for the North Atlantic Oscillation. Stays relatively positive out there toward the end of the month. So again, that is suggesting we're not going to see any bitterly, bitterly cold Arctic air. But we'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.